Oh, great. Barbie and Ken are never going to want me to watch their kids again. And I don't blame them. Oh, hey, uh, Nikki. Thanks for watching our girls' sh such short notice. Uh, that was that was a lifesaver. Oh, yes, most definitely. Thank you so much, Nikki. They didn't give you any trouble, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, no, no trouble. I, uh, hardly remembered that they were even here. They were really good. Oh, great. That's so good to hear. Thank you so much for coming and watching them short notice. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Let me just get my money out of my purse and so I can pay you. You know what? I'm gonna pay you a little extra just because I know you did a really good job. And, I don't know, I just feel bad for calling you, like, an hour beforehand. So, yeah. I'm going to give you a hundred dollars. Oh, no, that's okay. That's not necessary. Thank you, though, Barbie. Oh, don't be silly, Nikki. You deserve it. Uh, no, really, I don't. Uh, I have to tell you something, Barbie. <laughs> Did you have a friend over while you were babysitting? That's okay. It's not, like, my favorite thing because, you know, if you have a friend over and you're babysitting someone else's kids, it kind of makes you not pay attention to the kids as much, but that's okay. That's fine. No, Barbie, you see, um... I don't know where your girls are. What? I'm speechless. Are you serious? Yeah, I can go help you find them. I, I, I just noticed that they weren't in their bedrooms. In that case, you're fired, Nikki. You will not be babysitting our, our girls ever again. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you for making that decision. <laughs> Alright, uh, I can go unless you want me to help you find your girls. You are... I, I don't even have a word for you. You can just go. Go home. We need to call the police and get them involved because we have no idea where our girls would be at this time. Okay, sorry about that. Ken, what do we do? I don't even know where to start. First things first, we need to call the police and let them know that we're looking for our girls. It's like you hear of these things happening, but you never think it's going to happen to you. Honey, I'm sure our girls are fine. I'm sure they're all together and, you know, we just need to find where they are. They might be stuck somewhere, so we just need to keep calm and realize that they're all together. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, pray for the worst, hope for the best, I guess. Exactly. Well, I feel like I've had a pretty good life so far, so it'd be really sad to die now. But I feel like I've fulfilled my life. And everything I've ever wanted to do. Oh, not me, Sparkles. I still have a lot to live for. Like what, cutie? What else do you have to live for? Well, I've got Cutie Cat. She's pretty amazing, even though she can't understand human. But I've got her to live for. I have, um, my bed to live for because it's really comfortable. And I feel like an angel when I lay in it. Um, um, I really love Levi and Ben. I've got them to live for. And no way, Levi and Ben are all mine. Yeah, whatever in your dreams. I've got school to live for, Miss Pepper to live for. I've got so much. So I'm not about to die in this cemetery. I know that we're going to be found, you guys. So don't be losing hope on me. Too late. Yeah, I guess I've got a lot to live for, too. I love to go um swimming and boating and hiking and exploring there's a lot i like to do so i think there's more adventure than this so yeah we're probably gonna be found cutie you're right why aren't you hopeful sparkles well just think about it we've been here for hours no one knows where we are they only know maybe that we're not at home and that's it hey who's that dude walking over to us i don't know he looks familiar though oh he's getting closer he looks like he's crying. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's Levi. Perfect. My knight in shining armor is going to save me. Oh, you guys, be quiet. That's so embarrassing. We can't let him know we're stuck up here. Then you must not truly love him. I do too. You must not. Because love isn't about seeing somebody at their best all the time. It's about seeing each other at each other's worst times. And this is not a good time for us and we need saving. Oh, he has a blanket with him. He's using it to dry his tears. Be quiet for a second, guys. Let's see what he goes and does. <laughs> oh, Fluffy. You are much too young to die. I brought you a blanket. In case the ground is getting really too cold. I'll, I'll lay it on your grave. Just know that I miss you. And I love you, Fluffy. <laughs> No! Why? Why? Oh, Fluffy. 
guys, we can't cry. We're big girls. Hey, Levi! Up here in the tree! It's Cutie! What the? Whoa! Cutie, you guys, what are you doing up there? You guys look really high up there. Um, that's because we are really high up here. Hey, uh, Levi, we hate to bother you in your time of mourning, but we're kind of stuck up here. Can you get us some help? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, totally. Uh, do you want me to get you, like, a ladder, maybe? Um, or do you want, like, like, professional official help? Like, do you want me to call the police? Um, well, if you have a ladder big and tall enough, that would be great. So that we could just, uh, be kind of on the down low and not get in as much trouble. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah, totally, dudettes. I'll do you one better. I've got some stairs. Let me go grab them real quick. Okay, thank you. Yeah, don't mention it, dudettes. Totally chill. I'll be back. Stairs? Isn't that the same thing as a ladder? I love you. All right, dudettes. The stairs have been installed. It's all up to you now. Oh, he's so dreamy and perfect. Alrighty then. Okay, well, I'll be the first to test these stairs out. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, I made it down, you guys. You go ahead. Um, hey, Levi? Yes, dudette. If I fall, will you catch me? I can most definitely, certainly try. <laughs> okay, that's all I need to know. I'm good. I'm so in love. I can hardly stand it. You guys are so weird and such babies. Ugh, I just want to get home. Thank you for saving us, Levi. If it wasn't for you, we would die. Whoa, so you guys were legit stuck? I actually saved you? No, you, no, you really didn't save us. It's just easier to get back down the stairs. You know, using stairs is so convenient. Mm, we didn't want to mess up our outfits, so thank you for making it more convenient and easier for us. We appreciate it. We gotta get going. Um, we're gonna be late for uh, dinner. Yeah, dinner. All right, well, I'll uh, see you guys later. <laughs> did you have a cat? And did it die? Oh, yeah, you saw me crying, huh? I was mourning the loss of my kitty. She was such a cool cat. She would, like, chill on my surfboard with me when I was surfing. Oh, she was so legit. Yeah, I miss her a lot, and I visit her quite often. Anyways, we'll keep that uh, moment between me and you three girls. Um... Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Uh, bye. Peace out, Cub Scout. Bye. 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 Alright, you guys, we're about to get the wrath of Mom and Dad. Uh, oh, yeah. Here goes nothing. Uh, they're not going to be very happy with us. Alright, honey, I'll call the police. Why don't you, I don't know, send some text messages out and let people know that we're looking for our girls. Okay, sounds like a plan. Who's coming in the house? Um, hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Sparkles! Yeah, hi. Hey, Mom and Dad. We're back. And I'm, I'm here, too. Girls, come here! Okay, but are you mad at us? Yes, but more worried and scared, sick that you guys... I don't know. Come here. Give your mom a hug. I've been worrying to death. Oh, Harper, oh my gosh. Sparkles, why aren't you coming over here? Give us a hug. Because I'm scared. Scared of what? You're home, safe and sound. He's scared that she's going to get in trouble because she's the one that um started all of this because she wanted an adventure and didn't want to stay home with the babysitter because the babysitter is really lame. So she wanted to sneak out of the house, so we figured we better go with her so that she's safer. Sparkles, is that true? Yes, every word. Well, first come here and give me a hug because you had me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. I truly am. I didn't mean for it to get this out of hand. Sparkles, the thing is, you know way better. Your dad and I have taught you way better than to sneak out of the house. What would you suppose your dad and I do if you guys were gone? We don't know if you got kidnapped, if you did just sneak out, if you were at a friend's house. You always need to let your dad or I know where you're going. And in this case, we expected you guys to stay at home. We thought that you guys were safe in your room being babysat. Our babysitter, Nikki, is really weird. And she's not that good at babysitting. 
Well, yeah, we know that now because she had no idea where you guys were. She should have had a very close eye on you guys. Where did you guys go anyways? The cemetery. What? Why would you go there? Because it's fun to play hide and seek there. That sounds pretty disrespectful to play hide and seek at a cemetery, Sparkles. And you got your sisters involved. That's not very cool. You need to be a good example to them. I'm sorry. Girls, parents don't like getting mad or after their kids. But there's a reason that we have rules. And there's a reason why we need to know where you guys are at all times. There's a lot of bad people out there and we need to we need to be safe and use our brains and think about our actions before we do them. There's consequences for everything. I couldn't agree more, girls. We really are sorry, Mom and Dad, and Kitty and I should have tried to restrain Sparkles or talk to our babysitter or tell her that Sparkles was getting out of hand and leaving. We won't ever do that again. It was way too scary. Yep, way too scary. We'll never do it again. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mom and Dad, and I'm sorry, sisters. It's okay, Sparkles.